Good evening, Miss Jenny. My name is Ayuna Tara, and uh, for extensive reading final exam, I will explain about my short story review titled A Home in the West. A Home in the West is a short story by famous American authors Dory Copeland and Virginia Smith, published in July 1, 2013. This is a live romance fiction about the Amish people. For your information, Amish people is not a tribe, clan, or uh, ethnic group. They are more likely like a Christian religious community who uh, uh, longs uh, from Switzerland, but they, uh, but since uh, 18th century, they immigrate to North America and America, so they are now live. Uh, in Canada, Indiana, Pennsylvania, and mostly in Ohio. A Home in the West tells the life of the Amish people back in 1858 in Berlin, Ohio, about a 19 years old Jonah Switzer, who is struggling to fulfill his dream of becoming a great Amish farmer in the West. He survives by the good death of the Pillows family in their land without secure ownership of the family land. So Jonas is trying hard to make his dream come true and also he longs to catch the eye of the woman he likes, uh, Caroline Hesburger, the most beautiful woman in Ohio. Personal reflection from this uh, short story review. After reading this short story, I got some, uh, I mean, three positive points here. The short story is based on the life of the Amish religious community, which is very thick with their uh, religious culture. So the writer uh, tells us how the characters in the short story apply the Amish culture so well that the readers know the life habits and culture of the Amish religious community. Second, from the Joel Smith character, I learned how a young man can be so positive and enthusiastic in his life in the midst of uncertainty. Uh, compared to the uh, current situation, as we know that many young people in this era, in Jonah's age, have been influenced by gadgets and other instant technologies that make them unprepared for life. Third, from the way Jonah's talks to the girl he loves, he wants to show that he is a person who has a pressure. Uh, he told uh, to the girl he loves uh, how he can be so sure that he really, that he can realize his dream to build a home and a uh, farm in the West. So this, uh, this show that he has a broad insight about the Western region. And also in the short story, there are also things that are left. In my opinion, the ending is a little bit unsatisfying. The author doesn't tell how Jonas Wallace his step to owning a house and farm in his dreamland in the West, so that the readers wonder whether Jonas uh, is su uh, successful to realize his dream or not. Theoretical analysis, what is the author purpose for writing this starter story? Is the author successful in achieving this purpose? In my opinion, the author purpose is to tell the reader some slice of life of the MS young man. I think the author has successful enough in delivering it, but a little bit unsatisfying because the ending is a little bit uh, not uh, explained not explain how the uh, main character can realize his dream or not. What is the setting of the short story? Is it appropriate to the genre? The short story setting is in, in 1858 at the Billows Farm in Berlin, Ohio. In my opinion, the setting is appropriate and support the genre and also plot because it tells the culture and the life of Amish, Amish people. How well the character develop do they think, so speak, in act? Live way. The characters develop in a spot way as the author wants to show the progress of the main character. The supporting characters are really support the main character to get the climax point. Fourth, how well is the plot structure? Is the action successful enough? Are the events true too predictable? 
the plot is structured well, the substance will even is only when the main character dress for the answer of the car he likes, whether uh, she wants to date with him or not. Five, uh, what is the time central idea of the story? In my opinion, the time of the short story is about life and romance of the famous young man. Six, does this short story have a coda or a lesson? Was what is it? The short story that I can take from uh, is that in life we must have a goal and to achieve we must have a major plan and, and execute it with a uh, good steps. Our dream will definitely be achieved as long as our goals and motivation are right. Never give up in life and never give up on your dreams. Does the author use and literally define success as metaphor, symbol, or uh, alliteration? The authors do use some uh, hyperbole in other statements about him. The stars seem to form brighter in the sky and cast their twinkling like the red flag in colorless eyes. Conclusion of the short summary review. The short story is good to read, the ethos is unpredictable yet not so heavy to understand. From this story, we can also get some information about the MS life and culture. Even though it's only a fiction, but uh, it's really, um, I mean, real life, uh, real, real situation. I recommend this short story because I got some positive moral values from the main character Jonas. He had reminded me that I should not give up with my dream and I should do something to reach it. That's all my explanation about uh, my short story review. Thank you for your time for watching my video. Hope you have a good time. Good evening.